it's not my fault You've been lying, saying that I took away your sleep Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options, I take your I like my coffee black, white too Don't turn this into no controversy, it's my boo I can make a quarter million off a haiku And I can make another quarter off a times two <laughs> That's how I feel right now That's how I feel right now It is show weekend I am I'm prepared, but No, not but, I am prepared In Jesus name, amen, amen I really am prepared It's just that this morning My timing got a little bit away from me so i woke up at six which was five and so in the morning that's when i like to go ahead and get my deep work done so i started working on an edit for y'all because you know your girl is uploading twice a week oh god my water fell hold on <laughs> twice a week and something happened and i got halfway done with editing and the whole thing was corrupted so i lost about a good 45 minutes and then it's show weekend, so of course, you know, athletes messaging me about different things, so that takes time. And they're not bothering me. I have been competing for five years, but even still for someone who have been competing for quite some time, like nerves and things, you know. So, yes, sometimes the things that they ask or concerned about are very frivolous. However, I understand they are nervous. So, it is my duty, and this is where being a beauty service provider is so much deeper than just doing the service. I provide a lot of mental and emotional support for these girls. So like um, one figure pro, I was telling her, I said, hey, you were overthinking this thing way too much. You got to chill. And she said, oh my God, thank you so much. Because a lot of the times we are in our heads. We're tired. We're exhausted. We can't think straight. We're nervous. So did a little bit of that this morning and I don't mind doing it. Uh... This is breakfast, protein smoothie, stopped by Madison Perk, got my coffee, on the way to salon. I'm so rude. I'm so rude. I am so rude. What's up, y'all? How you doing mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically? First and foremost, praise God. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Lord, thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for what you did today. And thank you for what you're about to do in the future. I receive. I am so grateful. Thank you for sending us your son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. And this weekend is going to be an amazing weekend. Everything will run smoothly. Everyone will look beautiful and everybody will perform amazing. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now that I got that out the way, <laughs> I'm heading to the salon because I have a client. We're going to do some highlights. I have done her hair in a really long time so I'm excited to see her and then after that we've got errands to do so I need to go to Sephora to pick up a couple of things I wanted to avoid having to do this today I wanted to do it earlier on the week however comma today is the VIB rouge sale so I was like mm -mm, girl because what I do is, and this is just like peep game if you are a makeup artist, hairstylist, whatever the case may be, always use your professional discount. So a lot of these brands, NARS, MAC Cosmetics, Anastasia, they have pro discounts. So the only time I really go to, to Sephora and buy something at full price is if I don't have a you know pro discount because not every brand does that. Or if it's I'm in a pickle and I need something. The products that I need today, there's no pro discounts available. So I told myself, well, instead of buying all my things on Monday, like I typically would do to prepare for a show, I'm going to go ahead and just wait and get that 20%. Amen. So that's what we're going to do. And then I need to go check into the hotel, get things set up. Y'all are coming along with me. We got work to do. And then, of course, I'll show y'all what I got because I had... I purchase had to repurchase a lot of things for my kit i haven't been purchasing makeup like that for me all year long which is really weird to say because when i started on youtube like it, that's what it was all about just new products product reviews and i don't mind doing those i just don't want to do them at the extent that i used to i just i personally don't care to do them i'm more so at a place in my life in my career where first of all the overconsumption of it all i want minimal i've been my makeup's been in a makeup bag that's really weird for me, but I'm not weird. It's my norm now. And then I also 
am more focused on my clients, my makeup, because that's what keeps the lights on. That's what, you know, pays the bills. And I want to make sure that I'm using the best quality products for my clients. So let's go do some hair. Yeah. And you are the time of my life. Amaru, yeah. You brought the days to my nights. Eh, I did everything I said, but I did it all my way. Oh, wow. Told you when you came my way, can nobody take your place? Oh, wow. You know, like the game, then play. Give it to you straight all day. Oh, wow. Body do the talking, bay. Baby, you feel make man craze. Oh, wow. Yeah. Today, oh, wow. Now, oh, do a genie la la me. I may put the cake, pay my hot pay. Oh, yeah. You bring the energy that I need to charge my life. On her body, babe You gon' take my breath away Oh, wow She gon' make magic in the bed Room and I can't wait Big mood In love With you forever Yeah No day or wanna Odo e jinye la lo me I may bu de kpek Be ma ho te pe o Yeah you bring the energy that I need to charge my life my And if it do you no wrong, baby So all done. Christina, I've known her since beauty school. We actually went to beauty school together. I've done her hair, I mean, basically since then. So that was, how long ago was that beauty school? I think like, what are we in? 24? Oh my God. I think that's like 11 12 years ago lord have mercy wild and then i had a consultation for a new client um she's gonna get her hair color i don't know how she found me but she went onto my website and she saw that i had hair just like her so she was like this is perfect your hair stylist my hair is just like yours can you color my hair so i did that so now we are about to well first i need to go to sephora i need to go to sephora and pick up a couple of items that i need for the weekend then we're gonna come back here pack up ring light kit anything else nope that's it oh ring light kit and then my other light and then we're gonna head to the hotel check in go ahead drop that stuff off set up and then i'm gonna come home and chill for the rest of the day it is a local show however because i i mean i live not even eight minutes away however because i start at 4 a.m i am going to stay at the hotel because if i stay home then i'm going to have to wake up a little bit earlier basically i like to wake up at the last well not the last minute but i would rather wake up at three at the hotel and be there versus waking up at 2 30 from my house dragon all that other stuff so let go i also need to eat i think i'm going to get me some chipotle because it's friday i don't eat out like that anyway if i do eat out i'll eat out once a week and it'll either be on a friday or a saturday so i think that's going to be today i'm going to some chipotle for lunch i think it is safe to say that you can always expect some form of a car ride chat <laughs> in all my videos. I realized that for the past, what, month of vlogs that I have up uploaded, that has always been a thing. I am so glad that, hold tight, let me pull myself together, because like, mints and gloss always. Because one thing you're not going to do is catch me with a funky breath and chap lips. Like, when it comes to my hygiene, I'm probably a little 
next level in obsessive, but that's okay. But here's the thing. I work so directly close to people. The last thing I need is to smell wonky. Like, I'm not going to be up in someone's face with a funky breath. I'm not going to be musty. That's the one thing that everyone always compliments me on. They always say, you smell so good. And I'm like, mm-hmm, good, thank you, because... I just, I think it's rude. <laughs> I think it's rude, especially when I'm doing makeup. Because when I'm doing makeup, like, we we close. We friends, okay? Like, I'm all up in your business. So, before I start doing anyone's makeup, I always pop a mint in my mouth. Because, just no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anywho. Um, you know how I said in the past, in regards to working out, that... Let me chew this mint first. Hold on. Okay. Praise be. No traffic because it's spring break. The mall's only about not even 10 minutes away from my studio. But anywho. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Working out. Every workout is not going to be optimal. Efficient. Obviously, the closer you get to stage, I feel like once you get four weeks out, for some people, maybe five, Lifting, I know for me, just becomes not fun. I have literally been in the middle of a lift last season, and I text Jordan, and I said, this is stupid. What's the point? What's the point? I'm tired. Everything feels heavy. I'm literally going through the motion. Mind muscle connection, which is something I'm really good at, just goes out the window. It's just meh. It's just not a good time, right? But also, do not let the fact that, oh, well, I'm in prep. So therefore, because I'm in prep, that means I'm supposed to be tired that I can't push. You got to auto-regulate, y'all. There are going to be some days when you just don't have it in you and you just got to do your best. But there are some days when you are lean, but you just feel great and, and you can go like ride that wave. But what I'm saying is every workout ain't going to be optimal. Every workout is not going to be great because I train quads and glutes on Wednesday, right? And the thing is why it was such a mind trickery for me was because, ooh, son, yes. I forgot to put my SPF. Did I put my SPF on this morning? No, because I ran out. Shoot. It's okay. I need a little vitamin D. Um, so I was up. I was ready to roll. I was like, I've been waiting and ready to train quads for a couple of days now. I go, I get in there. I'm warming up. I'm like, okay. It was not a good workout. Everything, like my body mechanics, everything was just achy. I got on like different machines. Because here's the thing, like at this gym, like I, so at this gym, the equipment is still very new to me. So I'm still learning it. Like I'm not, I haven't broken it in, so to speak, right? And I got on the leg press machine, y'all. Won't nothing pressing. Nothing was pressing. Like I couldn't get my body in there, right? And that's the thing too. Like when you are a taller person, sometimes I don't know. Maybe the short girlies have this problem, but I just know for me, being a taller girly, like sometimes some machines just don't fit right with my body. But that leg press, for some reason, and I was excited because it was a unilateral leg press, which I have never really had the opportunity to use that kind before because at the previous gyms, they didn't have it. And so I was like, oh, this is fantastic. I can work one leg at a time. Y'all, it was the most awkward angle. I tried to do hack squats, which hack squats I have not been able to do since I like got my little first hip glitch back in 2019 at my first prep. No, nothing was feeling right so I just did what I could I did my lunges I did my split squats I did my leg extensions which I absolutely hate leg extensions that is probably by far my least favorite exercise and the reason why it's my least favorite exercise is because it hurts it hurts like no other no one's business however I did I, when I finished off with my leg extensions I did drop sets so it was a trash workout but let me tell you something that was on Wednesday I am still sore I did I hit my glutes too but it was predominantly like focusing on quads because I know like that wasn't my feedback but just going off of what they've been saying they definitely want to have a little bit of more quad fullness for bikini girls and the reason why this is like very very key for me is because again I'm a tall girl so what does that mean my limbs are longer my muscle bellies are longer so therefore my legs are going to always tend to look thinner just because my muscles are longer so I need to compensate for that right so all I know is my quads was so sore like 
I am just now to the point where I'm like, okay, like this isn't as terrible as it was. So no, it wasn't an effective workout, I felt like. However, yesterday and today telling me something totally different because when I got out of bed this morning, and I text Alexis, you know, because she's a wellness queen. I, this, this is a feeling like the quad soreness is a feeling that I'm not used to. I'm used to my hammies being sore. I'm used to my glutes being sore. I'm used to back being a little sore. I'm, you know, I'm used to that. But my quads being sore because I've never like trained them this directly before. Baby, that's a new feeling. It's a new feeling, but it's a new feeling we just gonna have to get with because gotta have some quads. Fam, riddle me this. Why is it that people with luxury vehicles drive them in the absolute most foolish way? Why is that? I just watched this BMW and Audi just basically almost collide into each other because someone's just swerving back and forth, just not paying attention. And I'm just like, regardless if you have a luxury vehicle or not, your vehicle is your vehicle. You need to take care of that thing. You need to be cautious. But something that I have noticed around these Charlotte South Park streets the luxury vehicle drivers are absolutely insane. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, no say. And also, when we go into this mall, when we go into the Sephora, baby, we stick into the list, okay? There will not be any frivolous shopping in Jesus' name. I have a spending plan. I already know what I need. I already know how much it costs because it's in my cart. I've already done the calculation with the 20% off and my additional $10 off because I'm gonna use my 500 points. I know what I'm spending, okay? So therefore, because let me tell you something, I am getting myself up out of this debt. I have just got to this is something that has been keeping me up at night no I'm not a finance channel no I am not someone that you need to come to for financial advice because sis is learning and pulling herself out the gutter however comma we just no be mindful of, of what you're spending this is something I've been saying for over a year now especially in regards to just like makeup and being on YouTube and watching all the all the like I love watching hauls and all the things I love watching favorites those are fun but you gotta watch that with the mindset of especially if you are someone who is trying to get yourself out of debt or you have a budget or a spending plan whatever the case may be whatever your financial goals are you got to be mindful when you watch that content and I'm gonna keep it a book with y'all that's one of the reasons why I wanted to pull back on doing all the product reviews and just like because just the consuming of it all we need to use what we got fam anywho I said all that to say this is a work shopping event okay I'm not going into any other store I'm going in to oh I gotta go to Inglot to get some Duraline I need to remember to do that but there's an Inglot in the mall that was so random to me because don't nobody shop Inglot like that like Inglot isn't a brand that people consumers use I feel I feel like a lot of makeup bars use it where that's great and fantastic for me but I was just kind of like all right that's odd a uh, ink lot cool but um uh, sis is sticking to the plan because in fact what I do is I'll sometimes get the cash out or I will make sure that in that specific like business checking account because you know I have my personal accounts and then I have my business stuff that in that checking account that I only have enough money for that particular thing that I need to buy that works really really well for me so that way I'm not like oh I got extra money in here no I don't have extra money and when it's a business account you definitely don't have extra money because that money's got to go back into the business that's the thing people like when that whole I'll get him to buy you an LLC let me tell you because as someone who has has made a lot of business mistakes in regards to finances y'all first of all everybody don't need to be a business owner everybody doesn't need to be an LLC I am someone who it just so happened to be that way for me and when I was watching a pastor because it was talking about money wealth and money management he said that a lot of you are holding yourselves back because you have already told yourself time and time again that you don't want a big business because you don't want you you don't want to be in business like that you don't want to deal with all the things because you're not good at it and that is me I I, I felt 
I, I felt like, oop, you got me. That is one reason why I have watered down, why I've told myself I don't want a small business is because I don't want to deal with all the things that come along with it because it is exhausting to me. It scares me. It's overwhelming to me because I am not a business person in regards to the numbers and all of that. Something that I'm going to start praying on is I understand for what I can do, what especially some new things we're going to start doing in regards to me and my business that it is going to take help and with help means there are going to have to be an employee or two because the best thing to do is to focus on your superpower do what it is in your business that you're good at and then you hire out to get someone else to handle the other things. The reason why I have not hired out or have struggled with it was just due to finances, but at the same time, I cannot grow or scale, Lord have mercy on this. This is, I'm preaching to myself. This is probably, if not the main reason why I have had the business struggles that I've had, it's just simply because I have been so fearful of investing into getting someone to help me in these areas because I'm not making a lot of money or that money needs to go to something else no 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 no. the money is there because when you need to find a way listen I there have been times when baby I have when I tell you I made a way out of nothing especially in my early 20s I made a way out of nothing so I need to change that mindset change that trajectory and understand that no in order for you to hit said goal you're going to need some help and that is okay. You do not need to fear it. You don't need to fear, you know, bringing on someone to help you. You don't need to fear the money aspect of it because the thing is like for me, I have a scarcity mindset of, oh my gosh, I've made mistakes. I'm bad with money. But then when I get the money, I want to hold on to the money and I don't want to spend the money because I'm scared I'm going to be broke. This, I'm just keeping it a buck with y'all. Okay. I didn't know we were going to go here today, but here we are. So I'm here. <laughs> here oh but I did not today today see because I was gonna I've been wanting well not wanting been needing to come buy me some leggings but I'm not doing that today okay let's go to Sephora <music> amount of money so here's what had happened I had put in an order on Sunday nars.com for the new blushes because I have blushes in my kit but I haven't really settled on like my true true ones for stage glam right so I love nars blush I saw they did some reformulation I always love the color so I said you know what let me do that so I ordered the new orgasm edge and then orgasm uh, orgasm rush and I was like oh yeah those are gonna be beautiful with orgasm edge it was a matte blush with orgasm rush I thought it was matte, maybe a slight sheen. Anywho, my order gets here on Wednesday. The reason why I ordered those from NARS directly instead of getting it from Sephora is because I have a pro discount at NARS. So instead of getting 20% off, I can get 30% off. Hello? Okay, cool. And my shipping, I have free shipping and everything. So that worked beautifully. I ordered it on Sunday. It arrived on Wednesday. Perfection. I guess I accidentally ordered the original Orgasm instead of Orgasm Rush. So now I'm just kind of like, uh. So one of the blushes that I was supposed to get was Orgasm Rush. Well, I love Orgasm Rush. This is a lot of orgasms. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, listen. Um, so I love Orgasm Rush for myself. It's beautiful. Like it's this shade right here. I swatched it and I was like, ooh, I love this. I would wear this. But then I started thinking about Stage Glam. When it comes to my blushes for Stage Glam, I tend to like those to be matte just simply because I need things that are going to work on everyone across the board. And the thing is anything that has a sheen to it or a shimmer, if someone has, yes, please. 
Okay, sorry, had to cut off. Marilla called me. Um, the thing is, like anything that has like a glitter or a sheen when working on stage, glam, I just worry because if anyone has any texture, acne, whatever the case may be, it tends to highlight that and that's just simply not what I want. Now, if it was a situation where if it was bridal or something, or just like a more softer, glowy look, okay, cool, but because Stage Glam is a little bit more makeup, the formulas are typically matte, I just don't wanna add any additional, you know, texture to someone's face. So, I would've gotten Dolce Vita, but they didn't have Dolce Vita in stock. It's a beautiful, it kinda reminds me of MAC Raisin, which I have MAC Raisin, but I don't know, like the formula for it, like I keep digging into it, I don't, I don't know, it's just weird. MAC, don't even start with MAC these days, because MAC is like, I feel like all of us are Tyra Banks, we're all rooting for you, and they just keep dropping the daggone ball. Anywho, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to return the original orgasm to NARS, Dot com and just ordered Dolce Vita through there. So we ended up spending less money and then I went to the Inglot store and got my Duraline. They acted like they didn't even know what I was talking about. They're like, what, what's Duraline? And I was like, it's the stuff in the dropper. You put it in the eyeliner. He's like, oh, okay. So it took them a while to find it. Oh, I need to get over, dang it. I forgot about that. Who's gonna be nice? Who's gonna be nice today? You gonna let me over, on it. Don't be like that. Um. He ended up giving me a free gel liner, which is very nice because I run through that gel liner quickly. So yeah, we saved a little bit of money. We stick to the spending plan. I didn't buy nothing for myself, which breaks my heart because I'm like, oh, it's a 20% off sale. And I really want to buy myself another good, um, good girl blush by Carolina Herrera because that is just my jam. I love that fragrance. That is my favorite fragrance of life. I've gone through two bottles of it already and yeah but anywho it's okay it's all right i'm old enough for my wants not to hurt me let's go to the studio let's do a makeup artist haul all right i'm gonna run through it real quickly okay so y'all already know i got inglot gel liner number 77 for free and i got my dura line this is for the gel liner so i use number 77 in the brown one as well basically this will wake it up, make it wet, um, refresh it. That's a better way of saying refreshing it if it dries out on you because after a while it will. And then from Sephora, I got some Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is my preferred foundation for stage glam. Reason being is because this, the shade range in this is insane. Um, when I was the cosmetics counter manager at Macy's, I had an Estee Lauder counter. And so therefore I know how to make this work on dry skin. I can make this work on all skin types, no matter what age they are. So this is a very flexible and just durable foundation for stage that I like to use. I also got a NARS concealer because that's my favorite concealer to use. This is the Creamy Radiant. I like this one because again, no matter what your skin tone, what your skin type or your age, this is gonna work. So you'll notice with me, those things are very, very important just simply because I have such a diverse clientele when it comes to makeup and hair. So if I can find a product that I know is going to work on all skin types, all different ages, that is going to work best for me. And they have an amazing shade range. And then these Huda Beauty um, setting powders, these are the Easy Bake. I don't like loose powder. I'm done using loose powder. I've been using loose powder for years and I've always hated it. The reason why I hate it is because it's so messy. It's so messy. And just because you're oily doesn't mean you have to use loose powder. I'm oily. I use pressed powder. There are pressed translucent powders. I just, y'all, I can't get with it. It's just a hot mess. And then I got some new brow pencils. I like to use the Sephora collection brow pencils. They are bomb. All right, that's Sephora. And then everything here is from Amazon. I think it's another Sephora order too. Yeah, so in here are just the little jars that I like to use to mix up lip colors because I give everybody a touch-up kit. Then I got some sponges. So this is, I ordered from the same link that I ordered from previously. These are way bigger. However, I believe it's 10 of these for $6.99. I like them. I will, I rewash. So I wash them and use them until they are not good anymore. Actually, I throw mine in the washing machine and wash them. So that's how I can keep those nice and hygienic. So I got some of those.
And then what do I have in here? Okay, yeah, here are my NARS blushes. So I'll show y'all. I'm sure everyone is familiar with Orgasm. I need to return. Yeah, this is oh, Orgasm. This is the original, like, OG. I don't know. I, I feel like I have it already. I just don't know where it is. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. That's what happens when you have so much makeup. But anywho, that's the original Orgasm. It's pink with, like, a nice gold reflect. I think I might need to just go ahead and return it. So let me leave that. One of my all-time favorite blushes to wear in the summer, and I'm going to pull mine out, Orgasm X. Oh, my God. It is a deeper version of the original Orgasm. So if you're my shade or deeper, oh, it looks so yummy on the skin. I love it. And then this is Orgasm Edge. Again, with all the orgasms, I apologize. It's NARS. It ain't me. It's NARS. But we're all grown here. Orgasms are part of life. <laughs> okay, here we are. This is Orgasm Edge. So that one will be good. Now that I'm looking, I probably should have got whatever. Stay on task, Amber. Stay on task. Okay. And then one of my favorite lip palettes to use, especially for neutral lip tones, for anyone that's my shade or deeper, if they're requesting a nude lip, it was the MAC Pro Lip Palette. They don't make, they haven't, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I thought maybe it was just on like the pro area. I haven't seen it. They have the reds, they have the berries, but this is a dupe for it. This is the NYX palette. So again, just like with foundations, lips do, I always mix the color just according to whoever I'm working on. So this is a dupe for it. So I'm very excited that I have that because I am running very low on mine. I got mascara, which this is a backup. So that can go over there. Oh, let me get this toner. I need to refill Put that down there I got some lip liners my favorite lip liners to use are by the brand NYX line out loud they're a gel lip liner so therefore you know like the traditional lip liners the MAC ones you sharpen them the wooden ones they tug these don't tug they glide right on love those and then I got yeah another this is my Inglot gel liner right here this is the one that I purchased. Is this 77? It's 77. So I have two brand new Inglot 77s. I love that for me. So I'm just going to stick this one over here because I don't need it yet. And then I got Maybelline Invaluable Eyeliner. These are my favorites. They glide on. It's a gel liner, so it glides on easily. And then I got a NYX. This is a can't stop, won't stop pressed powder. I ordered two other shades. However, they kept coming to me broken. So I was like, you know what? I'm fed up. I had to send them back to Amazon. So this is in the shade light. I went to Target to get this one. I might swing by. No, I'm not. I'm not going by the Target uptown. I'm, I'm lying. I'll do that another day. But there's two more shades in this that I want. And this is just for like if I want to add a little bit more coverage on somebody. So I got that. I've got lash glue. I like to use lash glue duo, but the one with the brush. The reason why I don't like the ones that you squeeze is because what happens is you squeeze it and then sometimes you get too much and now we're wasting product and it's a mess. I like this the best. It's my preference. And then I got my Stila liquid eyeshadows. Love, love, love. These are amazing. Those are my two most used shades. And then I got LYS. This is the deepest one, the bronzer six. Y'all know I love these. This is the deepest one and worthy. And they just came out with another one. I'm going to give that one to you. I believe that one is, it's called Harmony, I think it is. It literally just launched a couple days ago. So I put this Sephora order in on Monday as well. The reason why I didn't wait for the sale was because I knew, well, I needed it for the weekend. So if I would have ordered it on Friday, I wouldn't have had it in time. These products are available online only. LYS, black owned, female owned, amazing products. And they are affordable, affordable. So I got another one of these to add to my bronzer collection, my cream bronzer collection. And then I got the pressed powder. So I got the shade dark. That's dark. This is a translucent, translucent powder. Well, okay, so it's... They're pressed powders for oil, but I do, honestly, I don't like using a white translucent powder once we start getting to my shade and deeper. And even sometimes for some girls that are still in that medium to tan, I'm just, I'm not a fan of it. I feel like sometimes it does make things just look 
it makes things look unwell, so that's why I prefer these. But these are pressed powders, so this one is in the shade Dark. And then this one is in the shade, this is the deeper one, Dark Deep. And then I do have the translucent. So that is all that we got. I'm going to pack up my stuff so that way I can get ready to head to the hotel. All right, so right now I'm in the process of making my touch-up kits and trying not to like stress myself out because my plan was I wanted to get to the hotel right at three so I could go ahead check in. The reason why I like getting to the hotel right at check in is because I know the girls are waiting to hear what room number is from me and to just keep the stress down and to keep them from like having to text me or you know them just worrying already. I just like to be there and go ahead and get it to them however it is. 4.43, so I'm usually going to be in Uptown Charlotte. I'm not going to stress it because it's not like I got to travel. It's not a long way. It's literally right up the road. It's just that sometimes, and I'm, I'm sharing things with you guys, sometimes like when things don't go according to my schedule, I, it does give me a little bit of anxiety, but we do not... We are not to be worried or anxious about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And there's no need to be fearful. There's no need to be anxious because God told us not to be. So that's what I'm just telling myself. I'm just sharing this with y'all because y'all know I like to share the real and raw. And for anyone who maybe struggles with the same thing, like when you are a beauty professional, then especially like understanding how tight like show day schedule is like I just like to make sure everything is on point and nothing is wrong it's just me just like hyperventilating and getting myself worked up for no reason but anywho so a lot of people always ask well how many girls can you do and it's not a matter of how many girls I can do it's the services because if one girl is getting makeup and then another girl is getting hair and makeup that's three services so that basically depends on the show schedule like what time does pre-judging start if pre-judging starts at eight we got to start a little bit earlier if pre-judging starts at nine or ten or so on so i have to base it off of that like me personally i know six services is my max especially like when it comes to makeup like i'm to the point now where it's like i don't even want to do six faces i want to do five because again I don't think people realize how hard it is on the body. I know for me, like once I get to six, like when I first started off and I was just trying to like, okay, run the gamut. Let me do everybody. I learned really quickly that, okay, never again. That was too much on my body. And no, 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 not mm -mm, just no, too, too much. So touch up kits are done. Okay, I was wrong about the, so it has the little ones in there and it has the big ones. I didn't realize that. I thought it was all big and I was like, good Lord. And then I just realized I still haven't done like an official studio tour. I'll get to it, no rush, but this is where I stock my products to refill. So like makeup wipes, some additional lashes, mascara wands, wubbies, things for touch up kits, my that I need this, my label maker. It's like the label things in my kit so that way I can get to it easier. Um, what else have we got in here? Yeah, things like this. This is the not so sexy part. <laughs> All right, she's packed, she's clean, she's ready. Wow. Totally thought I was recording and I wasn't. All right, so it is currently like 6.05 right now and I am exhausted. This is the first time that I have sat down all day and I am feeling it. However, gotta get the room and everything set up. Check out my city. Charlotte, it's so beautiful here. It's just a really, really cool, chill city. Here's the room, spacious. I'm gonna set up. And then I'm going to go home and relax for a moment before I come back here. I am tired. I'm going to sleep good tonight. I'll see y'all in the morning for Glam. Oh, also, I forgot to mention. So Olivia, who typically assists me, she is competing this weekend. So therefore, she can't consist me. It's a jam-packed show. So I'm going to have an assistant named Alma. She is a hairstylist in Rock Hill, South Carolina. If you're not familiar, Charlotte is right on the border. So for my house, I can get to South Carolina in like 15 minutes. So she is going to be helping out. I'm going to test that out and see how it goes. See, proud of me reaching out, getting help, like trying to, I don't want to say trying to. Okay. The thought of like having a beauty team, like a glam team, it really, really scares me. So y'all pray for me. 
Pray for me. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Perfect. So Fantastic. I have content to watch tonight. Okay, so that's my girl Andrea. Pause. Let me put y'all on real quick. If you are a bodybuilding girly, you compete, or if you don't compete, you just follow me because you like my content and you aren't even a bodybuilder, but you just enjoy liking the content. I'm about to put y'all on game on some other content creators who are bodybuilders. If you like me, you'll like them. The first one, Andrea. She's amazing. She is a fitness pro and I'll make sure to put everybody down below and then we have Shantae she is a bikini pro hilarious love her then we have Tony she is another bikini pro then we have Aurelia she's a NPC bikini competitor and then we have Nisi who just came to well she hasn't just came to YouTube but just started vlogging sharing her experience because she is also a bikini pro and 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 for all my makeup girlies out there she is a makeup artist and she is one of my favorite makeup artists. When I tell you this girl can do some makeup, she like, I, she inspires me. Like whenever I look at her stuff, I'm just kind of like, this is just stunning. It's perfection. Everything is just moi chef's kiss. She does bridal. That's like her main thing that she does, but she also does stage glam as well. She is phenomenal. So Make sure you follow all of them. I'll be sure to leave them down below so that way y'all got content to watch when you're cleaning the house and you're doing your cardio and when you just, or when you're just at home chilling. All right, it is 3.18. I got to have been up for an hour now. I got about three hours of sleep, but it's okay because first athlete is at four and then I'll be done at... 7:45. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym, do some cardio. I just feel like I need to move my body. I'm feeling like I'm gonna keep it a book, y'all. The girl's feeling big as a boat. I'm just feeling inflamed. I'm feeling watery. I'm feeling heavy. I'm just like meh. But anywho, and then I'm gonna go home and go to bed. So everything is all set up. I went last night when I left here. Got brushes. <laughs> We're all set. I am so excited. I, like, not, when I'm not working, when the season's not on, I find that, this is just from what I've learned about myself, I tend to spiral a little bit because there's nothing to do. So I'm so grateful that I am back in my studio because at the end of the day, no matter what, like, yes, I love my studio. Yes, I love doing hair in there. Stage glam is my top-notch priority. So the beauty is I can adjust my studio appointments to work with my stage glam appointments. That was something that I struggled with when I was working Macy's and doing the beauty cosmetics counter was that it was just not conducive and I burnt myself out. So I'm just so grateful that I can give this my everything, give my studio my everything, not worry or be stressed about my timing or getting burnt out. I'm just, I'm just excited. And look, look how cute my jacket is. My little Amber P Beauty jacket. I love it. And then on the sleeve, it says, show off your beauty. All right, let's work. <laughs> Done. Okay, I've been done since it's 8.57 right now. We finished up right at 8 o'clock, which was perfect timing. I like for my last girl to be done an hour before pre-judging. That way she's got plenty of time. Like I'm, I'm right next door to the venue. That way she's got plenty of time to get there. I'm exhausted. Alma came in in the clutch. I'm so grateful for her. We have a jam-packed day tomorrow. Tomorrow is wellness in bikini. So... See y'all.
on the clip later. Well, the clip after this. I'm tired. Okay, bye. Okay, let's talk business real quick. Still the same day. Driving home. I, first of all, everything with Alma today went fantastic. She, she is a hairstylist, and so she, I brought her on today just to try to test and see, because like I said, I'm aware that, okay, I'm gonna need to do something, but remember how earlier on in the video, how I was saying that, you know, just like fear of, you know, not knowing certain business things is like hindering me, and, you know, X, Y, and Z, it's like playing small, like, oh no, let me keep it small. Everyone knows that I am obsessed with stage glam. Everybody knows that. Like, to know me is to know that I am obsessed with stage glam, right? That's just where I am in life, you know? The thing is, I think sometimes people feel that, oh, well, you know, you can fall out of love with things. You can, like, it's okay to get into a rut. Like, I definitely had my rut moment in the beauty industry, and I'm so grateful. That is why I'm so grateful for bodybuilding, because had I never come across bodybuilding, then I probably would have just exited the beauty industry altogether, because I just knew just, like, the hardcore focus on nothing but salon lifestyle was not for me. There's nothing wrong with it but I just knew for me there was something I wanted more I mean since I was in beauty school my goal was to always travel and do makeup and so hey that's what I'm doing it's not Paris Fashion Week like what I thought or what I wanted however I'm doing that thing right and so after talking with Alma today like it first of all opened up my eyes to a lot so there's that and then secondly when I tell y'all this y'all probably about to yell at me for shows, like I started doing Stage Glam 2021. My first show ever that I did Stage Glam at was in 2021. It was Junior Nats Nationals in Chattanooga. I did one in a quarter. The reason why I say one in a quarter is because my first ever person that I did glam on was Kira. She, this is when, back in the day when she was bikini. Kira is one of my um, Amber P Beauty sponsored athletes. She's a figure pro now, but she believed in me. She took a chance on me. I did her makeup. First of all, hold on, wait a second. Where am I going? Okay, I lost my bearings there for a moment. It's so funny. So all of my landmarks that I'm used to seeing, I'm used to seeing them at nighttime because most of the time if I am uptown, it's normally light, dark outside. And so I look for specific buildings. Okay, anywho, that was my first athlete. And then I did Alexis's eyeshadow. I'll put some glitter on her eyes, right? Ever since then, I have worked so hard on just, you know, trying to get my beauty business out there in regards to bodybuilding, you know, doing stage slam for athletes, you know, amateurs and start doing pros, now doing both. And so for this show, like this year, I'm at a place where I don't have to, and I don't mean this at all in a, a, a arrogant way. This is just me giving like the business facts, right? I find that I don't have to work to get people to book me now because I've been doing it. People see me, they know me, they trust me. I put myself out there. For this show, this is a two-day show, I basically, hold on, let me, let me do the calculations appropriately. Yeah, so I ended up missing out on $1,240 because I can't service everybody. So what does that tell me? I definitely needed more hands on deck for this show. So basically, 1,200 doll hairs I missed out on because I, like, I, I'm one human. That lets me know, okay, for these bigger shows, you need to have some help. You need an assistant, you, you need another stylist. You, you're, you're going to have to understand that you got to build a team. And I don't know why that scares the bejesus out of me. I don't know why. I don't know why. That's something that I got to work on with myself. But yeah, sharing that. I'm sharing that because I know if I put that out here, y'all are going to fuss at me, which I, you know, listen, we're, we're family. Okay. You're my sis. So if you see me doing something, you see me out here in the streets acting raggedy, tap me on the shoulder and be like, yo, um, Amber, what are you doing? Let me hold you accountable. Okay. But do it with love. Do it with love. I am always open to criticism. Like if there's something that I can be, be doing better, please, in the name of Jesus, help me. But I'm saying it out here because I know y'all are going to be like, okay, Amber, like, Hey, 
come on, we, we, you got to do better. I've got to do better. So this is something that I'm thinking. I just went in a massive circle in the... I'm sleepy. I'm running off for three hours of sleep and I worked my behind off yesterday. Okay, now I'm really going home. I just had to share that. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Bye. Okay, so here's my dilemma. So I came home and Marilla and I, we went on like a little day date. Um, went to the mall because I need to get some more foundation because I ran out of one while I was working. I thought I had some, but I didn't. So I had to do that. Um, we went to Dick's Sporting Goods. I got a pair of shorts because... I mean, I, I like long shorts. Like I can't, I can't do the shorts where my butt. Like I just, I don't know how the girlies do it. I don't feel comfortable in the shorts that are so short. I just, mm -mm, no, ma'am. Anywho, so I got some shorts. Then we walked around for a little bit. Then I went with him to get his hair cut. Then we came home. I said all of that to say I went right into Sephora, and I had been meaning to get some, um, just like some scalp stuff for the braid. So I don't ever experience itchy scalp. Like, I don't have dry, flaky, itchy scalp at all. However, with these braids in my hair right now, though, I, like, I can definitely feel like it's just a little itchy. So I want to go ahead and get something to handle that. I'll probably end up getting the um, Pattern Beauty Scalp Smooth Soother. Uh, I'm a big Pattern Beauty fan. So I will be... It's 725 right now. I also slept for two and a half hours when I got home. So that was a lovely caught up on some sleep I guess I could go if I go right now then I could be back home by 8 30 shower get in bed <sighs> can I hold out though is the question can I hold out until tomorrow I mean it's not severely itchy but it's it's starting to get a little uncomfortable I don't know you guys I just ooh. all right day number two wellness in bikini this is going to be a little bit of a long day because I am going to prejudging and finals because I got a, there's a lot of girls competing that I know and I want to just go and support them, especially Olivia, because she has been so supportive of me. She helps me um, working stage glam. She came to my pro card winning universe. She came to my... Um, it's still early, haven't had coffee. She came to my pro debut, so I just want to make sure I'm really there for her and supporting her. She's getting her glam done today as well. She is a wellness competitor. So yeah, we got lights on. We got nice clean brushes, everything sanitized. Let's get to work. That's Cherish. Cherish is a gem. If you don't follow Cherish Richardson, she is a figure pro. That's that's my girl right there. She just, mm, she, <laughs> I love her so, so much. Um, that's who just texted me. We were going over some show stuff. It is the next day. It is Monday, um, 6.50 p.m. And I am just now heading to the gym. Y'all... When I tell you, where's my gym bag? Okay. 
Oh, come on. And there we go. When I tell y'all, your girl was tired, boss. I was tired. I worked in the studio on Friday, then running around doing last minute errands, then woke up at 2.15 to start glam at 4. Came home, was able to take a nap for a little bit, got up, Marillo and I had like a little day date, and then to turn around and wake up again at 2.15 and do it all over again. However, I love it. It is oh so fun. Um, bikini and wellness was amazing. Jasmine looked amazing. Maria got second place again. She got second place last year. She, um, I'm just so, first of all, Jasmine and Jasmine, Maria, and Olivia, the most improvements I have ever seen. Jasmine, the way she was able to bring down her upper body, she's a wellness pro, incredible. Maria, she looked great. Her waist snapped. She was just like the improvements from last year to this year, incredible. Olivia. Olivia, um, NPC Wellness, my girl, y'all know she assists me. She helps me out from time to time. That's also one of my friends. Um, the way Olivia's look came together from head to toe, the body, the body was bodying. Like Olivia is textbook, the person who is an amazing bodybuilder on paper. And I don't think she, she I don't think she would get upset at me saying this. So I'm going to say it. She is someone who isn't going to, she is someone that's not like, hey, I have genetics. She understands what her genetics are. And when I tell you, she put in the work to transform her body from where she started to now. She told me her first um, show in 2021, she was like 120 some pounds. When she got on stage for Charlotte Pro, Charlotte Cup, she was 142. That is insanity that is craziness so just goes to show even if you feel like you don't have superior genetics if you have superior work ethic you can do the dang thing all in all it was a great show i of course had my moment and i was talking to marillo about it and you know like sometimes like when you talk to your husband about things it's like why did i talk to my husband about that because like men Sometimes men are just so transparent, well, just so black and white when it's like, that's not exactly what I needed from you in this moment. I was just telling him how I was bummed out because my plan was to start my season season with Charlotte Pro and then I wanted to go on and do Pittsburgh Pro and, you know, just like all those, you know, pro shows that are right there in that pocket and I just was kind of down on myself because I wasn't able to do so. He's like, oh, don't worry, honey, you'll get it at the end of the fall. But like for me, I just feel like the stress and pressure of a timeline and I know it's stupid. I know the logical side of me is like, you shouldn't be putting yourself through a timeline or those type of time constraints of when you need to do things. I feel like this is something that women struggle with. It's like, you need to be, you know, have a job by this age, your career by this age, be married by this age, have a child by this age. And I can't lie, y'all know I keep it a bug. One thing that I have been struggling with is the fact that I am 35 years old and I don't have children yet. However, I understand God's timing is the best timing and Sometimes you have to also like people I hate when people say to me, oh, well, there's no perfect time to have a kid Well, baby, there is a wrong time and right now is not the time for that But you know trying to line up Okay, when I'm gonna competing start competing because we are you know starting to do the family planning thing, too And so I just feel like I'm kind of running out of time, which I know the stage will always be there I can always compete after the fact. I don't know. I'm just all up in my head Anywho, I was struggling with some things today I did absolutely nothing because I was exhausted and this is the first time where I did absolutely nothing and I didn't feel bad about it. Most of the times I'm like, oh, you're useless. You didn't do anything today. No, we honor thy body. Sis was tired. I worked hard this weekend. So I did some editing. I started watching a little bit of church sermon because I missed on Sunday. I still got to go back and finish it up. Marilla and I are going to watch it together. And then I decided to stop feeling bad for myself to get off my butt and go train my butt. So that's what I'm doing. I Thank y'all for hanging out with me. If you're doing cardio or whatever the case may be, I appreciate it. I love y'all so much. Keep it simple and have faith. Don't give up. Cast one more net.